if I flip a coin a hundred times and it lands 47 times, did it stop working? Most traders would say yes. And then they change the entire strategy. That reaction is psychological, not logical. This is why traders lose their minds in a probabilistic game. Most traders don't panic because of losses. They panic because probability takes time to reveal itself. Human brains expect fair distribution and fast feedback. Markets don't work like that. They deliver probability over time, not instantly. If you flip the coin, that very coin can land heads six times in a row. That doesn't change its probability. But humans panic when patterns feel wrong. Traders treat short streaks as evidence and take it emotionally instead of statistically. Now, imagine if you instantly saw the result of those hundred flips. No stress, no overreaction, no emotional attachment. But trading stretches that same probability across a full session. Sometimes a full day, sometimes a full week or a month. That is a major emotional trigger. You're trying to emotionally manage randomness. That's why trading exhausts you, because you haven't fully accepted it for what it is. Emotional stability doesn't come from confidence. It comes from accepting uncertainty mathematically. Probability is what keeps traders sane. When outcomes are expected, they hurt less. When losses are planned, they don't shock the nervous system. Let's bring it into the casino. And the coin logic. Casinos understand probability deeply. They know losing days happen. They never ever change their rules mid-loss. Risk emotionally, chase variance. Casinos don't manage emotions. They manage expectancy and their strategy. Traders think like players. Profitable traders, though, think like the house because casino lives by the rule of same game, same rules, same risk over and over again. What is the lesson for you traders? Win or loss, move on. Good day, move on. Bad day, move on. Edge only exists across repetition. Emotional reaction breaks repetition. In order to apply all of this effectively, you need to know your numbers though, because if you don't know your win rate, your average loss, expect a drawdown, then every loss feels like danger. Uncertainty without data becomes fear. Backtesting isn't just for entries, it's for emotional preparation too. So I am asking you, in 2026, stop trying to feel certain. Build a system where uncertainty is already priced in. The market doesn't reward prediction, it rewards repetition and preparation. So there is the real question you need to ask yourself as a trader. Not was it a good win or loss, but did I execute my edge and allow time to do its job? Because the moment you start measuring yourself trade by trade, you stop being a trader and you become a gambler, reacting to outcomes. That's player thinking. House thinking is different. The house doesn't wake up emotional. The house doesn't need reassurance. The house doesn't look for certainty. The house trust the process because the process has already been tested. Most traders are mentally exhausted, not because trading is hard, but because they're constantly asking their nervous system to decide something it cannot know yet. Every trade asks, is this the one? Am I right? Is my strategy failing? That's unbearable over time. But when you think in probabilities, something shifts into acceptance state and what trading truly is. You stop asking the market to confirm you what this is. You start letting your edge express itself. And that's when trading becomes quieter, calmer, more boring in the best possible way. It means you define risk before you trade. You accept drawdown before it happens. You judge performance only after a meaningful sample size, not after one day. Not after one losing streak, not after one emotional session. Because edges don't show up on demand, they show up over time. In 2026, stop trying to outsmart randomness. Stop fighting variance. Stop demanding instant feedback from the probabilistic system. Become the house. Same rules, same risk, same execution, 
over and over again boring because the market doesn't reward the most emotional trade and excited trade. It doesn't reward the smartest prediction either or the most fancy analysis. It rewards the trader who stayed consistent long enough for the math to finally speak. Win or loss, move on. That's how professionals survive the market. That's how they scale in a market. And it's up to you whether you will do the same. Where success meets psychology in Paulina's way. Strengthen your mindset every week. Success story. Every Wednesday. Traders who broke through their limits. Psychology session every Friday. Join now. Hit the bell. One session could change your trading forever. Funding Pips. Built by Traders for Traders.